Hey Phantomaniacs, welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel brought to you today by Audible Interlude, a G.I. Joe podcast. You can catch Audible Interlude the first Friday of every month where we talk about G.I. Joe stuff, past, present, and future. Uh, so today we're taking a look at something of a surprise. Last week, if you were following along, I reviewed a bunch of G.I. Joe stuff. And I had planned for something different for today just to break it up. But these guys arrived from BigBadToyStore.com, my favorite place to buy toys online. And I want to get this out as soon as possible because I'm excited for this set. Uh, it feels like the Classified series, while I have enjoyed it all along, is sort of rounding a corner. And this is one of the landmarks, I guess, of that progression. So... I had to get this thing, open it up, do a review, ASAP. And of course, what we're looking at is Snake Eyes and Timber, Alpha Commandos. And I love the fact that it's Alpha Commandos, like Timber is also a commando. This is great. This is our first real commando version of Snake Eyes in the Classified series. They've leaned more towards the ninja uh in everything else and that is a nod to the sunbow cartoon where snake eyes befriends timber out in the wilderness uh and it's very much commando snake eyes now he does not look like this but it's the more commando version of snake eyes packaging looks great it's what you expect from classified you get some unique art on the side here featuring timber featuring snake looks awesome this is number 30 uh, which it's really weird at this point to think that there are only 30 classified series releases. That's, that's mind boggling to me. Uh, so looking at the back of the packaging, here's a little something I wanted to do is take a look at this is the packaging for the very first release roadblock. And yes, I'm saving the boxes. I just can't bring myself to get rid of them. Uh, but let's take a look at the at a comparison here. Uh, you can see which characters are portrayed on the back here. And then on the new one, we have the addition of Lady J, Beachhead, Flint, Zartan. Um, Gung Ho is in a different spot. Uh, the Alley Vipers, interestingly enough, are in both pieces of art but uh, yet to have figures. Uh, the Red Ninja are, are there, but then over here on the newer one, we've got Firefly, Major Blood, Viper, the Cobra Trooper, whereas over here, uh, we have a significantly lower number of, of Cobra operatives. So just an interesting difference in, you know, the art is evolving as it goes along. Now, I would still love to have a more traditional cross-sell card back, but I do think it's cool that they're changing it. Uh, but the most interesting thing to me is the number of vehicles that we have on both of these pieces of art, none of which are in the line. There's no Baroness's weird made-up motorcycle is not on here anywhere. Uh, no Ram. Um, it's just interesting because we're... I, I believe that we are never going to see these vehicles for classified series. The Armadillo, the Trouble Bubble, uh, stuff like that, maybe. Skyhawk, maybe. Uh, but, you know, as of now, we're, we're not going to see a Night Raven. We're not going to see uh, a Bridge Layer. Come on. The, the Toss and Cross is not going to make an appearance in the 6-inch scale. Uh, and if it does, I'll eat my words. Be sure to come back to this video and leave me a comment. But anyway... I just thought it was interesting to take a look at how things have evolved. And now it's time to take a look at these awesome figures that came out uh, pretty quickly, I've got to say. So let's bust out that trusty 19... Oh, wait a minute. Let's take a look at our specialties. Does Timber have specialties? No, it doesn't look like it. And I'll, I'll be interested to see if like animal handling ends up being a specialty if they get around to Law & Order, Mutton Junkyard, uh, characters like that. Uh, but Snake Eyes specialties are... Skulls, swords, poking people's eyes out, and uh, throwing stars. And of course, if you want to see the actual specialties, go to GIJoe.com. All right, 1964 box cutter. 
Let's slice right through that tape and get these guys out of this box. I have been so excited for this release. And it's funny because we've got plenty of Snake Eyes Classified Series figures now. Uh, as a matter of fact, I now I hadn't seen this one yet. But last week when I reviewed the Henry Golding Snake Eyes, I would say it's the best Classified Snake Eyes that has been released. Uh, but I, I was excited for this, but mostly for Timber. Less so for Snake Eyes, because like I said, we've already got Snake Eyes. Like, that's cool, great, he's different, but but boy, this is a whole new thing for the Classified series, and I'm excited to see it. But we're going to take a look at, uh, well, let's pop these accessories out of here first. Uh, we've got some of this new fancy tape that, I'm not. while I'm not a fan of tape being on my action figure accessories... This stuff that Hasbro has been using uh, doesn't leave that tackiness on the accessories that some tape does, so I'm pretty much okay with it. Let's get all of these out of here. We'll take a look at each one uh, as the review goes on. I'll go ahead and tell you up front, there is exactly one weapon in this set that I know the proper name of, and you're welcome to guess what it is, but I'm sure you already know. All right. Oh, that's interesting. All right, we'll take a look at that in a second. Timber, and finally, let's get our pal. Uh, as was revealed in Snake Eyes Origins, uh, real name, Mortimer Plumtree. I'm just kidding. Obviously, they did not reveal his real name. And if you uh, are a wrestling fan, you know Mortimer, Mortimer Plumtree was a verbose manager in the early 2000s. Uh, so, let's take a look at Snake Eyes. I did not bring the other Snake Eyes figures over here to compare to this one, because I don't feel like it's necessary, because this is a very different Snake Eyes. Um, and also because everybody's probably pretty familiar with those other Snake Eyes figures at this point. So we have the goggles, rather than the visor. We've got the sort of face shield here with the vents in the front. Uh, very, very simple though. Like there's a little detailing here on the sides. The goggles look great and have a different uh, gloss and color to them. But this is a very, you know, basic Snake Eyes head and one that I'm a big fan of. I like this one. Uh, I don't have a preference between Ninja and Commando. I like both. I think it's worth pointing out that he was, he's been a Ninja for almost like 40 years now and was a Commando for like two. Uh, <laughs> so I think that's worth noting. He has, let's see, so on the thighs, he's got the, their little separate rubber pieces, so we can sort of move that around to the front, get it in a better position there. Uh, he's got a holster for the pistol and the suppressor. Uh, he's got a sheath for his knife over on this side, which again, just a, a combat knife, not a sword. Boots are different. He's he's still got... And look, I don't mind this shin armor that's on all these Joes. This makes sense to me, honestly. Uh, but shorter boots. Uh, the trousers, you can see all of the sculpted detail on the trousers. Uh, it's actually He actually does have cargo pockets on either side. I'm sure these have been used on somebody else. I don't know all these parts by heart. And honestly, it's kind of fun just to look and, and be like, okay, that's uh, that's not immediately familiar to me. Good for them. Uh, this tactical vest is something different. And this is very interesting to me because this little marking right here that I'm trying to read what the heck it even says. If I can get the camera to focus on it. Is that a double zero, I guess? Maybe four snake eyes. Uh, but this logo here, it's a very reminiscent of the classic logo uh i like this i like this uh just printed on here now what the heck is it on what is this ball i don't know it's not a grenade it's just this weird ball shape uh that's hanging off of his tactical vest it's fine whatever a little bit of a little bit of detailing uh on a an all black character and he's got you can see there's a little bit of difference in the armored pieces here but he is basically traditional Snake Eyes style, 
just straight up all black. They didn't go into the detailing. Uh, I like it. I like the look of it. Uh, you can see he's got the sweater arms, the pockets on the shoulders up there. Uh, just looks great. And, of course, articulation-wise, he's standard classified series. He's got the butterfly joints at the shoulders, uh, double-jointed elbows. We've seen it all before, basically. Uh, he, it, these, these are some of the best articulated figures, if not the best uh, articulated figures that America has produced. Well, I guess technically America is not producing them, but from an American company. Let's just say that. Uh, everything works great. Everything looks great. Uh, this is a classic Snake Eyes, just in a modern style, but not like sci-fi modern, just modern the way we make action figures now style. I think he looks great. Interesting to note, though, no extra hands uh, for some reason. Well, I guess that's not that's not really a huge thing in classified series now that I'm thinking about it. Cobra Commander came with an extra hand. Um, yeah, oh, for the most part, they get the C grip with the trigger finger. And uh, that works for me. I don't need, uh, I because for a line that's centered around firearms, I would rather have everybody have a trigger finger than do the deal where you're holding your gun like this and the trigger guard's just sitting on top. That's no good. Uh, so anyway, Snake Eyes looks great. Let's take a look at his accessories. Uh, we have this, <laughs> this uh, submachine gun with... Does have a removable clip. Very nice. I like it. Looks cool. Is it appropriate for snake eyes? Eh, nah, not really. It's going in a bag. Uh, we have another flavor of submachine gun. Again, don't really know what it's modeled on. Uh, it looks cool. Am I giving it to snake eyes? Nope. Clip pulls out. It's a cool gun. Cool looking gun. Uh, didn't need it, but whatever. Uh, and then we've got our pistol. There we go. Thank you. Now here's interesting. Uh, okay, the clip does not come out on the pistol, and I, that's fine. I, honestly, I don't need any of these clips to come out. It's a neat feature, but I don't need it. Uh, suppressor plugs right in there. Looks great. Makes sense for a commando. And goes right into that holster with the storage for the suppressor which I love. I think that's great. Uh, this might be the exact same one that's on the first Snake Eyes figures. Not positive, but uh, everything fits perfectly and looks awesome. Uh, we've got our very large combat knife. Pretty unique, uh, all the sculpted detail, and the blade is actually painted a metallic color. It's not just all black, so that's awesome. And that fits right into that sheath on his thigh. Perfect fit. Looks good. And then finally, here's the one I know. There it is. The Uzi. Snake Eyes Uzi. Again, clip is not removable. In my opinion, doesn't need to be. Uh, but looks great. It's what the guy needs to shoot Cobras with. Fits perfectly in the hand. Uh, finger goes through the trigger guard. Looks great. Looks awesome. Nice work. This Snake Eyes is very, very cool. For the purposes of toys and action figures, I prefer Ninja Snake Eyes. I'm glad to have this one. He's going on the shelf. I'm not like putting him in a bag or anything. But just for pure toyetic coolness, nothing beats a ninja, you guys. Okay, a robot beats a ninja. But like... I don't need robot snake eyes in my life until Super 7 does one uh, in their large robot series, and then I'll probably buy it. Uh, it looks awesome, though. I love it. But now, let's get down to business. Let's get down to the star of the show, our buddy Timber, the Timber Wolf. Snake Eyes' is constant, well, not constant companion, but once he meets him, uh, one of the stars of the Sunbow cartoon, definitely a feature act, somebody that... As soon as a, a G.I. Joe line is announced, people wonder, when are we going to get Timber? And I'm not even, like, being funny with that. Like, I legitimately feel like that's a thing. Like, wh when are we going to get Timber? What is the figure going to look like? What's the articulation going to be? How detailed will it be? 
uh, what snake eyes will it come with? I like, and that's, uh, to go back to the whole Ninja Commando thing, you know, the first Timber figure came with Ninja Snake Eyes, which wasn't even correct. But they had to make Timber because uh, animals are cool. We love animals. We love animal companions and toy lines and cartoons and comics and everything else. Uh, this Timber is absolutely incredible. Uh, from starting with the tail, we've got uh, a little up and down. We've got a ball joint. Thighs move in and out rotate we've got uh, all of the leg joints are there you can get nice deep is he going to be able to sit down i i find that hard to believe i'm actually trying to picture right now how my dogs sit so i don't make this look all stupid okay well one of our dogs we actually have a husky boston terrier mix uh and she sits kind of like this like bill the cat almost Let's see, so we can get that there. This is, I'm sure this is fascinating for you guys, but I am just curious to see if we can get Timber to sort of sit up. Uh, sort of, a little bit. I mean, look at that. That's better than I expected, thanks to, we've got ball joints here at the abdomen, uh, and at the top right here, at the base of the neck, and then the head also got a, a nice degree of movement there. So... You can sort of get timber to uh, sit. Look at that. Timber can sit, you guys. That's wild. I, that is more than, and I understand you don't have quite the right angle on it now, but this dog is sitting. Uh, you can see, look at that. And that's, that is pretty much how our Husky Boston Terrier mix likes to sit. That's amazing. I did not expect that. Tremendous articulation, amazing sculpted detail. Uh, and I also think they did a really nice job of working the articulation into the sculpt. So the uh, profile of the figure is not messed up by the articulation in any significant ways. Uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful animal figure. Uh, and I, I hope we get Law. I hope we get Junkyard. Uh, I hope we get whatever Raptors... Uh, falcon is named which i don't know that raptors falcon has a name if it does please let me know in those comments uh what a noble great sculpt i've got the shiny wet nose the shiny eyes this is a just a beautiful figure i'm impressed so we've got nice sitting good boy timber but obviously this is an action oriented toy line this is a toy line where we want to fight and scrap and have aggression and uh have wars so let's take a look at Timber's war face. How hard is this going to be to switch out? Oh my gosh, this, this uh, sculpted fur is poking my hands. And as you can see, I don't need any more wounds on my fingers. Might have to heat this up to get this on completely. Because I really don't want to break. You can see there's a very long peg. And while it's, it's relatively thick... For as long as it is, uh, I'm not trying to break that peg off. I'm going to give it one more gentle push. There we go. Got it. Uh, so now we've got Timber's war face. Look at that. Just ferocious boy. Ready to protect his master. Going to battle for snake eyes. Probably tearing off uh, the Crimson Twins pants or something like that. Teeth look incredible. Uh, you can actually see the tongue sculpted. Eh, there we go. You can see the tongue sculpted in there. Uh, it's got a little traditional G.I. Joe scar above the eye. I don't believe we had that on the other. Oh, yeah, he's got the scar on both portraits. Uh, so I like that. Kind of. Oh, it's on his uh, muzzle, too. Got that scarring. So that's uh, potentially from the bear that he saved Snake Eyes from. But this is just absolutely fantastic you guys what what a great set worth every penny as far as i'm concerned uh these guys they, they gotta be on your shelf they have to be this this is even if you're maybe not so into the classified series 
Like, don't you want this incredible set on your shelf? And, and scale-wise, there's a little comparison for how big Timber is compared to Snake Eyes. Really nice wolf size. You guys, this is, this is beautiful. Uh, this gets my highest recommendation. If you're a G.I. Joe fan, I don't see how you can pass this set up. Uh, it, it's just absolutely awesome. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share. Remember to check out Audible Interlude, a G.I. Joe podcast. And yo, Joe! Smash that like button if you like needless things.